gloss, a gloss. I just don't know what to gloss. <laughs> Hello and welcome back to another week. And I'm going with Iconic London. That's so tiny. <laughs> Why would they do that? Uh, hi and welcome back. I already said that. I am on my way to go to a doctor's appointment. Around here, I don't know if it's like this everywhere, I think it pretty much is, but around here, getting in with a doctor is like a whole situation. It takes forever. So now I have this new one and I, I made this appointment months ago. You know what, I want a peach, I want a more peach pop of peachy color. But so yeah, now I'm going to meet this new doctor. It's not in the town I live in. It's a couple towns over, but I know a back way because I'm a back road girl. <laughs> the interstate stresses me out. I pass out every time they take my blood. Yes, I, I know. I get tattooed a lot. <laughs> it's different. I'm really anxious now that I said that. Great. It is something with my agoraphobia. It's all in there. It's like confinement and not being able to escape and I tell them I have to lay down because I'm probably going to faint and the fainting is what has caused the agoraphobia. So now that I know that I faint with blood withdrawn, I now faint when I do that because it's attached to the agoraphobia. I don't know how else to explain that. I also need to make sure that my doctor knows what agoraphobia is because so many people think that it's like you can't leave your house. So they were looking at you like, well, what are you doing here? I think Chloe has agoraphobia. Agoraphobia is the fear of leaving your house in Chloe Hansen. Certain situations, bridges, transportation, crowds, busy restaurants, that kind of stuff. Anytime you're in those environments, having a panic attack in that environment one time could trigger you into not doing it again. And then that will turn into more and more and more and more. And this anxiety will start running your life. And that's when it starts to become a possible agoraphobia kind of behavior and avoidance behavior. There's so many misconceptions and even I find when I go talk to doctors, they don't really truly understand it. So it's really important that this new doctor listens and understands what I'm trying to say because they come at everything with such a scientific clinical like doctor perspective that it's kind of hard to make, like you wanna make sure that they're on your side and that they're gonna listen. So I, this just is gonna be difficult. I just, fingers crossed that this new doctor is really good. But anyway, I'm not gonna go on this huge tangent in the beginning of the video like I always want to. I'm just excited to finally sit here and talk to you guys. But I'm actually gonna get in the car, I'm gonna go. It's gonna be a hot day today. I am going to also thrift while I'm there because we're two towns over. I gotta see what they got. <laughs> I'm so stoked. Let's, uh, let's get this week started. Wanted to share that we got some new cam lights now in the living room. The electrical upgrade continues. All these holes in the ceiling were where he had to connect everything and rewire it. There's also a couple of holes over here. And I tell you what, we moved all the furniture, but it still created a gigantic mess. So we spent the better part of yesterday completely deep cleaning, mopping, sweeping, cleaning all the surfaces off. It's feeling much better, but I think actually this evening he's going to still be in here working. So I'm just really hoping that we don't make another huge mess, but the house looks so clean because we really tag teamed it. Uh, I have on a thrifted Sonia Reichel baby doll dress. I love this dress so much. I love it. Some little white shorts underneath it just because it's a pretty short dress and some Adidas sneakers. I have some sneakers on the way. I was hoping they'd get here in time, but it'll probably be the moment I pull away. They're delivered. Makeup is the fox eye again. I've just really been enjoying doing the fox eye. It's been fun. It just makes my eyes look a lot bigger and more, I don't know, doll-like. All right, I am done. I got two, oh my God, Crayola macaroni and cheese band-aid on one arm. They never can find a vein and that's my dumb ass for getting tattooed on my inner elbow so that it's harder for them. And for somebody who faints when I get blood withdrawn, yes, I know, it's ridiculous. I don't understand it either. I'm actually quite hungry. I feel like I need to just drive through snack, like drive through real quick, grab a snack. I wanna go to whatever Goodwill is out here and local to here. I'm so hungry. I always get really hungry after like going to the doctors and getting blood taken because I think I get so anxious that I feel like I can eat like a four course meal like a stress meal. That's what I'm gonna call it. It's my stress meal. But anyway, I got a kid's meal at Chick-fil-A. <laughs> That's not my stress meal, but I didn't want to eat too much because we're gonna have dinner soon. I feel like the kid's meals are plenty. You know what I mean? And it comes with ice cream. 
Mm. Mm. This is a great treat after getting my blood taken. I'm a child. Goo goo gaga. I need to get more. I have so many autumnal, wintry dresses. I have so many. But when it comes to like summer ones, I went through my entire dress section, which makes me realize that most of those are spring and autumn dresses because they're more, they're too hot for this kind of weather. It kind of blew my mind considering how many dresses I have. They're all long sleeve or fancy. Some of my upcycles, like my crop top one, the Hawaiian one that I did, the like Moomoo, it's too dressy. Like it, it would be weird to go to the doctors with that. So I need dresses that would be like, say, for going to the doctors or going to the grocery store or like going somewhere where I need to be appropriately dressed, but also like comfortable and cute. You know what I mean? Anyway, <clears throat> almost done. Let's go thrift. I kept finding these really random leotards that have these drop crotch. I just can't imagine what these look like on and I don't understand why there's so many of them. I of course had to look at the men's shirts because these are a go-to staple of mine and you can wear them in the winter time as well. So they're really a year round piece. I did an entire blog post on things I thrift for that I wear year round. So if you wanna check that out, I'll link that. Almost got it, didn't, walked away. And I don't know why I didn't buy this, I regret that. I also saw this table. I used to have the exact same one and it was just as rickety as this one. Coming up tomorrow, we will try on all the things that I ended up getting. Hey, I'm on my second coffee. The room is completely clean and I have some laundry started. I have actually like four loads of laundry I need to start, but alas, I wanted to go through all the stuff I got thrifting. Something that they did at this particular thrift store is that everything that was in the color of the day deal, they pre-pulled all of those colors and put them on a rack. Thrift stores around here don't do that. So I love going to new thrift stores to see how they do it and this one pulled everything and had it accessible to you i'll still go digging but it's just nice that they pulled some for you so you could quickly grab some on the way out it's almost like when they put candy in the aisles on the way out it's like here grab this while you're leaving because it's so cheap i found some treasures on that i actually found some really great stuff at the thrift store yesterday. The first thing I found that I absolutely loved is these. I found some linen, really relaxed, cozy, like you can wear them around the house, but you can also just pop out to the store. There's some pants with pockets. We have pockets in the back, pockets in the front, really wide leg, fit like a glove, super cozy. I, these are the brand A New Day, which is a Target brand, I believe. They were $5.99 such a steal. Another one that I found, now these two were not on the $1.99, but the other two are. I think I got four things total. So the next thing is this. I actually walked by this and it reminded me of my vintage sweaters that I just did an upcycle on, that I cleaned and like took care of. This is really beautiful quality. It is 100% cotton and 100% silk on the inside. And you can tell, this is very soft. It is totally silk on the inside of this beautiful sweater. And then we've got cotton island. It just feels luxury. It feels like really, really quality. You know what I mean? And I was like, this has to be vintage. The name of the brand is called Leaf's Daughter. And I Googled it and I found this exact same sweater for sale for $200. This exact sweater was worn in Gossip Girl. Blair Waldorf wore this exact sweater on the show. This exact one. Well, not this one, but like this sweater style. I actually was like, oh, I don't need a sweater because it was 96 degrees out yesterday. It was so hot to even think about a sweater, but this is such a beautiful sweater and I got it for $5.99. I have so much to look forward to in autumn as far as sweaters and things that I've purchased recently that are going to be really good for that time of year. If I see something that I just cannot pass up, 
I'll get it. Like this, a jacket. 96 degrees, I keep saying to myself it was yesterday, and I just had to grab it because it was on the $1.99. It was originally $8, but then they put it on the $1.99 rack. So I just had to because it gave me, it has this raw edge to it. It gave me a little bit of a Chanel vibe to it, just the style of it. And when I put it on, it fit like it was tailored. It fit me so good. And then one of my favorite things, I mean, everything is just so great, but this was like, Oh my God, when I saw it in the $1.99 because it still has the tax on. This fit me so good. It'll be so nice with a strapless bra. It's linen. It's a little like jumpsuit with a belt. Came with the belt and everything. And it has a zipper up the side to get into it. And it fit me perfectly. Did I have a theme color? I think I did. I was attracted to blue yesterday and I wore blue jean. Oh my God. I totally bought what I was wearing. I did it again. Marvin, stop attacking it. Marvin, he hates boxes. <laughs> did you help me? Are you saving? <laughs> Are you saving me from the box? <laughs> but let's unbox my Fila sneakers. <laughs> Here, you can go attack it back there. You can't attack my shoe box though. Thank you for saving your mother. Thank you. My life was in danger there. That box almost got me, did you see? I think I got these Fila sneakers for, I wanna say like 35 or 40 bucks. It was incredibly affordable, I just know that. Oh, so cute. Look at those. Those are amazing. I definitely was in the market for some new kind of summer shoes that I think would look cool with my black uh, yoga shorts. So I have like shorts that are uh, yoga pants essentially, but just cut off. And um, I wanted something that would look cute with those shorts that I got. So those are mega. I also got one more thing in the sale. And that is because it was on sale, <laughs> duh. But it is just a nice, simple Fila sports bra. And I just got this to match the yoga shorts. Okay, I did the right thing by sizing up because they fit perfectly. I could tell if I was, if I would have gotten these in an eight, my toes would have been like hitting the front. So good to know, I have to size up a half size in Fila sneakers. I love them so much. I really like the big chunky sneaks. I do, I'm a fan. Good morning. I'm actually getting ready, as you can see, to head out for a bridal makeup consultation. So we're gonna be doing a practice round of her makeup for her wedding day. Just getting myself put together here. It's, I'm kind of on a time crunch today. I've just been so busy. My phone has been blowing up. Everybody seems to need me in August for some reason. <laughs> anyway, I do have on clothes, by the way. I have a towel, like one of those tan towels that you can like, velcro around your body that's what i use when i self tan it's so cool too because the gal that i'm doing makeup on is a like acrobat artist she's an aerial artist she does really cool aerial tricks and stuff i uh i used to hang out with a burlesque troupe i was in a burlesque troupe i was more of like a stage manager but then i would do stuff too and be in like old photo shoots and i usually did all the like photo shoot planning for the um posters and flyers that we did and then i also was like a stage kitten i did a lot of the fundraising event planning um i actually completely constructed a fundraiser for the humane society so like it was it was fun for the brief time that i was in a burlesque troupe called bootstraps burlesque back in the day and um a few of those girls were getting into ariel at the time that i was with the troupe so i know that a couple of them have continued on with it and are still, you know, going down that route that are performers. I don't think that I'm like the performer type. I'm not a live performer type. But yeah, I'm not like, I'm not interested in becoming a famous, like, go to meet and greets and like be this famous person. It's not my thing. I The whole point of, for me of wanting to be online and do this kind of stuff 
is that I want to be able to stay home. <laughs> it's, you know, if, if some of us are online and trying to be on YouTube because we want a remote job that's um, something we can control ourselves, I, I'm, I literally am just trying to become self-sufficient <laughs> and creative. And this is the only way I can think to do it. And I enjoy it so much. I love making videos. So it just makes sense, you know, that I want to be on YouTube and do content. Um, this is the tanner that I've been using. It's called B-Tan and it's so cheap. I usually like to use the organic natural tanner because I don't know what's in these things. And I want to use something that I know is like not super bad for me. If you are in for something that you want to be like super duper tan, like it gives you a really nice dark tan and it's cheap, this is this is a good option it's only seven dollars for this entire container whereas the expensive one that i usually get that's organic is 25 to 27 dollars that's a lot of money i sometimes i'm just you know on a budget and it's like screw it just get the cheap stuff so if you're ever looking for an alternative tan that's really cheap then go this route because <laughs> it's it's so cheap. I wanted to just share that because this is my third bottle. Um, and I just ordered it off of Amazon and it takes like a day or two to get here. So it's super affordable. And um, yeah, I need to stop babbling. I got to get ready. So I'll see you guys somewhere. It came the inflatable swimming pool with colorful lights. Okay, the pool is filling up. It's uglier than sin. <laughs> like, they're so ugly, these pools. But I'm excited to uh, see it light up tonight, if it charges enough. And uh, I'm gonna set a timer so I don't forget that this is filling up and go inside and get some more R&R &R in the air conditioning. chic today. I was going for Goldie Hawn and Overboard. Andrew, are you going to bring me my lemon or do I have to squeeze it from my hat? Hence the graphic eyeliner to go sit by the pool just because she has those amazing sunglasses. All I have are these which are my thrifted Balmain sunglasses and I love them. If I'm going to do this I'm going all out. If I'm doing a pool party for myself, a solo pool party, this is like just me truly just finding the best way to relax in my downtime because I do not prioritize downtime. I don't give my time to even read a book. I don't give myself time to play a video game, which I really enjoy doing. I spend every spare second I have editing videos. I'm worried somebody's gonna have to go poop, so I think I need to let a dog out. <laughs> I guess I should just go do that. I'm just gonna show how to have a kick-ass outdoor cabana on a budget. That's the idea. Okay, so I just went inside and got a few things to set up my little pool station. What I want to do is have like a rug, which I just grabbed a bath mat, and I'm just going to make a little station at the end for me to get in and out of it. I have a towel. I'm going to set up a chair over there as well in case I want to like pop out, sit in the sun, you know, and then I have some curtains. This is definitely pulling it all together. It's making me love this so much more. <laughs> I kind of feel like I need to move all of the rungs, but the problem is that's exactly the distance for our movie screen. And it would be kind of cool to sit out here in these chairs when we get our electricity working out here again and have a movie on and like sit and like make a little, you know, a little living room with my disco pool. <laughs> Did I even mention? I don't think I've shown you yet. I came out here last night, I'll insert that now. And the light had already come on on the pool. <laughs> so neat. By the moonlight. Oh my gosh. Disco pool. Blue, white, ooh. Yellow, pink, purple. <laughs> you can have it rotate the colors. <laughs> so cool. I hope this one doesn't deflate because that makes me so happy. It's all solar powered, so it'll just come on automatically when it's charged. 
what can I anchor them with? I mean, I know that just pulling them closed for now will work, but I do want to make them stay put. I think for now, just tying them down is the best bet. I have my music, my Kindle, tons of SPF, baby oil, my water. Okay, so the book that I'm going to read is called Already Gone. Haunted by visions of the future, FBI Special Agent Laura Frost must tap her psychic talent to hunt diabolical serial killers while keeping it secret from everyone around her. But with a ticking clock and lives on the line, might her vision lead her astray? Thank you so much for watching. Please do subscribe if you're not, and I'll see you guys on the next video.